once I probably finish up this town, I will be... I'll be done recording for today. For the most part. I might record a little bit past that. I might do... I might do a little bit of stuff that happens after that. But... As soon as I do the stuff that happens after that, if I do the stuff that happens after that, I'm definitely going to be done recording, because that's... I've already been recording for, like, ever since 8, and that's three hours ago, roughly. Roughly about three hours ago. I probably got home at, like, 8.30, so I'm going to say two hours ago. So I did about, about a two-hour recording, plus this one, which is also probably going to be roughly a two-hour recording, if I remember this correctly. And once that's done, I still need to eat food, because I haven't had breakfast yet. And it's like... It's 12. It's almost 1. So... I am very hungry. I would like to have some lunch right after I'm done recording. If I don't, that's not a big deal either, though. I don't really have that much stuff to do today. Today is Wednesday, so... It's kind of my... You don't do anything day, and if I remember correctly, this has a little bit of storyline to it. I remember going in here once, when I was off doing shit, and then I think you take a nap here, and then shit happens. So, let's check that out real quick. Let's dive into that. It's only a couple seconds. Well, a couple minutes, I guess. I have the hiccups for some reason. Hopefully those don't last too long. Sure. Yeah, roughly like 20,000 for each of them. She's only at 6,000, which isn't that bad. There you go. Get the rest for free. Why? Because they're awesome. Oh, look at that moon. That is a full moon. Ah, Angelo. You look like you've got the weight of the world on your shoulders. <laughs> Fuck off, dude. <laughs> Maybe it would help to get it off your chest, hmm? Uh, not that I want to force you, mind. If you haven't guessed already, this is going to be a little bit of a story uh, from uh, Angelo's perspective. Maybe things will never be right between us. He, Marcello, will never forgive me. If only we didn't share common blood, I'm sure we'd get along fine. Yeah, but this is going to be like a little flashback of Angelo's history to get to know Angelo a little bit better. It's not vital to the storyline, but it's kind of cool information. Develop the characters a little bit further. Abbot Francisco was always well known around these parts for his benevolence. He'd often take in children who had nowhere else to go. And I was one of them. My parents were well off, part of the aristocracy. But then they both died. All of a sudden, I was left with no family and no money. The Abbey was the only place I could go. And then he became a gambler for a living. Yay. It's the right thing to do.
Yeah, that place is fucking creepy. If I was a kid, I would have just left. I mean, like, fuck it, I'm living with the monsters. You're new here, aren't you? Nope. Oh. Are you here to join the brothers? Have you come all on your own? Oh, you must be exhausted. Where are your things? Is that all you've got? No, I got a van Even waiting outside. So I don't have many things, and I don't have anywhere else to go. You sound a lot like me. But there's no need to worry. Abbot Francisco and all of us will be your family from now on. But... but... <laughs> Let's go and find the Abbot. Come on now, don't cry. Why don't you tell me your name? Angelo. <laughs> oh, fuck, get out. We don't welcome you. your kind here. So you're Angelo. Leave. <laughs> I want you to leave. You leave and never come back. I don't ever want to see you again. It's a little harsh. His fucking parents just died, you know. Whatever. So you're intent on ruining deal. this life for me as well, are you? Marcello was the golden boy of the Abbey. He studied hard and had a bright future ahead of him. But when it came to me, his attitude wasn't so positive. I'm so sorry, child. I'm sad to say I heard that little exchange. It's so unlike Marcello to act like that. I just don't understand. Ah, I see. I always knew How old is that guy? Brother. That's you, isn't it? You're Angelo. Like, how long has he been an abbot at this place? Obviously, he's welcomed fucking Marcello, which is probably, like, roughly 18 years old or so. Well, they so, say time heals all wounds. Let's that guy must at least be, like, 90. Here will make everything all right. Now... Come along with me. From today onwards, this will be your home. Why don't I introduce you to everyone? Because uh, like people. After that, I heard the full story for the first time. About how I had a half-brother who was born from an affair between my father and one of the maids. Oh darn. And that was Marcello. If I hadn't been born, he'd have been next in line to my father. But when I was born, Marcello and his mother were thrown out of the house with nothing to their names. She died soon afterwards. He had no one. So he ended up at the Abbey, hating me and my father for all those years. So we held a grudge on a kid that was like barely even one. 
called being an asshole. Quite Stuck a bombshell, don't you think? I was so young and innocent then, too. The whole thing hurt more than you can imagine. Still, c'est la vie. My father got off lightly. He did just what he wanted and then died, and left me to take the consequences. I'm the only one left for Marcello to hate now. In a way, I can't say I blame him, and it was probably good that we lived together. At least it gave him someone to take it all out on. It certainly added a bit of spice to the humdrum life at Myella Abbey, anyway. Angelo, I'm so... This story's gone on long enough. Look, it's nearly daybreak. Wait! So Angelo and King Tro didn't get shit for sleep, so hopefully they still get all of their health. King Tro doesn't matter, I don't give a fuck if he dies. Guy's stupid. But yeah, that's pretty much all of this little cathedral area has to offer for anything. A little cutscene about Angelo's life. Pretty sure this is the house that that maid was talking about. Mother of fuck. Forgot about fighting after watching that cutscene. Still bashing shit through their faces, no problem though. Found a mini metal, holy shit. Yeah, I found a silk rope. Fantastic. Yes, that's right, I am Emma's grandmother. Er, Emma's my grandmother. Granddaughter. Same shit. I'm getting on in a bit now. You see. So, I know all of those old Escantha folks. Let's see, an old story about making wishes come true. That must be the story that a strange hill upstream of here. It's said that if you go to, or go there, on the night of a full moon, and wait quietly all night, a door to another world will open. It's probably just a silly old fairy tale, though I'm afraid I can't tell you whether it's true or not. It gets so cold and spooky up there, you see, I've never known anyone willing to st to stay the whole night and to find out, ha ha ha. Fucker. We're going. 